Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to share what I feel the Lord has given me to share with everyone this morning. The first inspiration I'd like to share is each morning. Each morning when you awaken, just offer God the day. Each task that's undertaken, whether work or play, offer Him your happiness, your cares and troubles too. Just tell Him that you don't forget all He's done for you. Uh, if this recipe you'll follow, you'll surely soon will find your life will be without a care and full of bright sunshine. A way to start the day. Next, I'd like to share an inspiration called, I Promise Myself. I promise myself to be strong, that nothing can disturb my peace of mind. To talk health and happiness and prosperity to every person I meet. To make all my friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them. To look at a sunny side of everything and to make my optimism come true. To think only of the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best. To be just as enthusiastic about the self success of others as I am about my own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievement of the future. To wear a cheerful expression at all times and give a smile to every living creature I meet. To give so much time to improving myself that I have no time to criticize others, and to be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. To think well of myself and to proclaim this fact to the world, not in loud words, but in great deeds. And to live in faith that the whole world is on my side, so long as I am true to the best that I can be. That's by Christian D. Larson. Next, I'd like to share a daily survival kit take these different things and and this is a way to survive a day a toothpick a toothpick is to remind you out of all the all the good qualities in others that's matthew 7 1. take a rubber band to remind you to be flexible things might not always go the way you want but it will work out that's romans 8 28. take a band-aid to remind you to heal hurt feelings yours or someone else's that's Colossians 3, 12 through 14. Take a pencil to remind you to list your blessings every day. That's Ephesians 1, 3. Take an eraser to remind you that everyone makes mistakes and it's okay. That's Galatians, Genesis 50, 15 through 21. Take a glue to remind you to stick with it and you can accomplish anything. That's Philippians 4, 13. Take a piece of mint to remind you that you're worth the mint. That's John 3.16. Candy kiss to remind you that everyone needs a kiss or a hug every day. That's John 4.7. Tea bag to remind you to relax daily and to go over your list of blessings. Count your many blessings. That's 1 Thessalonians 5.18. And a candle to remind you to share Jesus Christ with others. That's Matthew 5.16. Let your light so shine before men that they will see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. That's Matthew 5, 16. Next, I'd like to share an inspiration called Don't Quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're tra traveling seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is odd with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many a failure turns about when you might have won had you stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to faint or faltering people. Often the struggler has given up when you might have captured the victor's cup. And we learn too late when the night slowed down how close you were to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of clouds and doubt, and you can never tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar, so stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when, it's when things seem worse that you mustn't quit. So I'd like to share an inspiration. I wish for you a friend. I wish for you a friend who has time for you and sticks with you even when you have lost hope. 
who keeps his word and doesn't let you fall when you need him. I wish for you a friend who really listens to you and who can accept your thoughts and feelings without drowning you with advice, but who is also honest and capable enough to give you criticism which does not injure but helps you along. I wish for you a friend who's not jealous of that in which you succeed in life, but rather enjoys life with you and can share your fortune with you, but who also does not abandon you in your misfortunes and does not withdraw from that which is different and uncomfortable with you. I wish for you for a friend who is happy to be together with you and likes sharing your presence, who also represents your boundaries and, and can gauge the right measure of distance. And I wish for you a friend who doesn't use you, but rather enriches you by awakening the dormant parts of you. Dormant parts of you. I wish for you that you also can be such a friend to others. Next, I'd like to share an inspiration to my caring friend. Many gifts in life are cher- to care- cherished, but some are worth more than gold. That is your friendship. You are a caring friend who has so much value. This cannot be bought or sold. You are a friend who is wise with the tad of humor, one who stands by through thick and thin and with an encouraging word to help me. I give God thanks for your love and your friendship. You are a wonderful friend and an earthly treasure, so kind and true. You are always there if I'm in need. I thank God for a friend like you. And now you know you care about me and will be there till the end. I'm so glad God blessed my family life with a caring friend like you. That's for my loving friend. Next, I'd like to share an inspiration. Every word we speak, if any word of ours can make one life the brighter, if any little song of ours can make our heart the lighter, God help us speak that little word and take uh, out a little bit of singing and drop it in some lonely veil to see the echoes ringing. If any one little love of ours can make one life the sweeter, if any little care of ours can make one step the fleeter, if any little help may erase the burden of another, God give us love and care and strength to help along each other. Next I have an inspiration called Just an Ordinary Member. Just an ordinary member of the church, I heard him say, but you'd always find him present, even on rainy days. He had a heart handicap for the stranger in the aisle, and a friend who was in trouble found sunshine in his smile. When the sermon helped him, he told the preacher so, and when he needed comfort, he let his pastor know. He always paid up properly and tried to do his share in all the ordinary tasks for which some may have no care. His talents were not many, but his love for God was true. His prayers were not in public, but he prayed for me and you. An ordinary member, I think I would say, he was an extraordinary, extraordinary and a humble sort of way. That's an ordinary member. Next, I'd like to share a poem called The Time of My Life. I'm having the time of my life right now. Thy battle is almost won. My faith is strong and my conscience clear, and I've only just begun to know the peace he's promised me the joy of a job well done, and I count my blessings along the way, and I thank him for every one. I'm having the time of my life right now, where I never thought I'd be, given a second chance for such the Lord has given me, to see with clearer eyes than I've ever seen before, know that when I knock, his hand will open the door. How like a dream my old life seemed so far within the past, I've traveled foolish vanities for the things I knew would last. And I am not strong within his strength and precious in his sight, except in all his sins, because his ways are always right. I'm having the time of my life right now because I've learned to share everything I do with God each minute, minute I am here. For he alone can read my heart and know what is within. And he makes all things wonderful because he is my friend that by grace easily. The inspiration I'd like to share is no greater love No greater love hath anyone than God who holds for you. A love that is more constant, a love sincere and true. A love deep and devoted, day in and out anew. A love he shows despite our sins and lasts a lifetime through. 
A love that knows no bounds or heights, no greater love you find than that which God does show for us and holds for all mankind. That's Harold, M-O-H-N. The scripture is, Greater love hath no man than he give up his life for his friend. That's John fifteen thirteen. Next, I attack this rare inspiration. He has a plan for each of us. God has a plan for each of us, and I travel. I have a feeling there is such a wonderful plan for you. I pray that the paths you walk and the roads you take are your amazing places, places where you see the possibilities or you discover what it's like when dreams come true and when you come to understand the promise and the potential of the wonderful qualities inside of you. I pray that God's plan for you will gradually unfold before your eyes and that guiding lights continually showing the way you will find glimmers of hope and happiness shining each every single day. I pray that the people in your life appreciate what it's like to be in the presence of someone as special as you are. You have the kind of gift that are given to so few. God has a plan for each of us, and I think there's an especially wonderful one for you. Next, I'd like to share a poem called Live Life to the Fullest. One never knows what tomorrow will bring, so live life to the fullest today. Enjoy the treasures that God has given and never give in to dismay. Don't let the dark clouds get you down. Be happy and carefree in mind. Each cloud has a silver lining that each of you must find. Always look for the good in others, and life will be happier for you. Goodness and love will always make dark skies seem brighter and blue. Love each other as God has loved you, and the peace will be yours to share. Know that whatever tomorrow brings will find you safe in God's care. That's Shirley Powell. Next inspiration is one life. You only have one life to live. Do all the good you can to make the world a better place for all your fellow man. You only have one life to live. Time is fleeting fast. Only the good that you can do will forever last. You only have one life to live. Be true to God and man. The faults will someday disappear and truth will rise again. You only have one life to live. Let love rule in your heart. And God will show the peace of and you will know the peace of God when you have done your part. Lord, use me is one of my favorite ones. Lord, I entered into this day giving all my love to you, bringing praise and glory with all I say and do. The sun is warm upon my face, reminding me of your love. As I put my life in your hands, sending praise to you above, it is my desire of my heart to serve you every day. Use me as a willing vessel my whole life through, I pray. That's by Donna, M-A-R-O-N-E-Y. Next, I'd like to share a sure way to have a happy day. Happiness is something we create in our mind. It's not something you search for and seldom find. It's just waking up and beginning the day by counting our blessings and kneeling to pray. It's giving up thoughts that breed discontent and accepting what comes as a gift heaven sent. It's getting up and wishing things we have not and making the best of whatever we've got. It's knowing that life is determined for us and pursuing our tasks without fear, fret, and fuss. For us to have completing what God has given us to do, that we find contentment and happiness too. That's Helen Steiner Rice. Next, I'd like to share an inspiration, how to live in the year 2023. Wake up. Decide to have a good day. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Dress up. The best way to dress up is to put on a smile. A smile is an impressive way to improve your looks. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Shut up. Say nice things and learn to listen. God gave us two ears and one mouth, so we must be meant for us to use twice as much listening as talking. He who guards his lips guards his soul. Stand up. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for something you will or you'll fall for anything. Let us not be weary in doing doing, but in the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good. Look up. Look up to the Lord. I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. Reach up. Reach up for something higher. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. 
and lift up. Lift up your prayers. Do not worry about anything. Instead, instead, pray about everything. I hope you've enjoyed all these inspirations. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Have a great week, and I look forward to sharing with you next week. God bless you. God loves you, and I do too. Thank you.